The spiral line wraps itself around the trunk from the head to the iliac crest and keeps on going, forming a kind of jump rope or sling that supports the arches and is wrapped tightly to the ankles and then back up to the posterior part of the pelvis across to the other side and up the erector spinae to the skull. Let's start with splenius capitis and cervicis. Goes right into the rhomboids on the opposite side, into the serratus anterior. All this we've dissected many times. Into the upper fibers of the external oblique across the linea alba, including the rectus abdominis to the opposite fibers of internal oblique onto tensor fascia lata and the anterior part of the iliotibial tract, following tibialis anterior down to the medial arch, picking up the peroneus longus tendon on its other side and going up to the fibular head, joining this time the biceps femoris outside hamstring onto the sacrotuberous ligament, cross to the dorsal sacroiliac ligament and up with the erector spinae on the other side. This is when you're dealing with spiral movements as if in gait.